but we're back out for black powder. Bob's that way in his enclosed stand. I'm sitting in mine. Now all we need some deer. There's a doe. Looks like she's about crossing in front of me. She's about 60 yards out. But I think I'm gonna let her go and just see, wait and see if a buck happens to come by. We're kind of early here in the black powder yet. There's the buck I was looking for, but he's not quite as big as I wanted, so maybe he can grow up a little bit, let him get a little bigger. Well, I'm back in my uh, ground blind. Black powder season started a few days ago. I uh, Hope to pick up a doe. I'm kind of more meat hunting than anything. If the right deer comes along, you never know. But I'm kind of hunting for does just for the meat. Let the baby may let the bucks get a little bigger this year. Well, I just seen three does come in out of the trees. They're about oh, I'm saying 50 yards out, maybe maybe 60. I'm hoping they'll come a little bit closer. That's around. It's around, it's gotta be between 5, 5, 15 right now. If they get a little closer, I'm gonna try to take a shot. Well, I couldn't tell if I hit it or not. Maybe I shouldn't have took the shot. I don't know. Well, I got a hit. I found some blood trail down there. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully we can find it. I got my uh, tractor down there. So we'll see. All right. Bob and I started with the black powder. I believe I, we haven't looked at his video yet to know what you're going to be able to see. Yeah. But took a dough. Yeah. Well, I said earlier, if you, uh, earlier I said that I was meat hunting today. If, you know, and we just kind of want to let the bucks get a little bit bigger, but unless the right one come along. <laughs> but you can always take the right one. You can always take the right one. You can always take the right one. But we want to doe hunt or get some meat, and uh, well, we got one. It was about 45, maybe 50 yards out, right about 516 when I looked at my uh, watch, and that's what time was when I hit it. And I always hear these stories about people say, I shot my deer, he just fell in his tracks. Well, this one didn't. <laughs> I bet he ran what? 100 yards, 200, I don't know, not 200 yards. Yeah, probably 100. About 100 yards, very little blood sign. And then we got it. When she fell, she just dropped. We cleaned her out, she was just full of blood. So. And it was in the thickest, wooliest oh. crap you could ever get into. Why can't you shoot them next to the road? <laughs> It'd be nice, huh? Yeah. It no. don't, don't seem to work like that. No, no, it doesn't work that way, no. So. But hey! We got one, we got some meat. 
We, did, we said we needed to get a few does. There's a big snowstorm, they say, coming next week. Yeah. And that was another reason. Yeah. Grab one now. We get a big snowstorm, we're probably done because we can't get into that area anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's it. We got that. We got one. We'll see if we can do another. Thanks for sticking with us.